Hello and welcome to another episode of RimWorld. So, on the last episode, or the episode before that, someone complained that I have the butcher's table inside of the same room as the kitchen, and apparently that's a very bad idea, which, you know what, it is. Fair enough, fair point, okay? We're gonna build, like, a little separate area to do the butchering and all that stuff, all that jazz. We might even build that out here in, like, a separate little room for that, or we could just build, like, a little... You know what, we could build, like, a little outlet right here for the butchering table. Maybe, perhaps, we could just make it that big. Yeah, it's gonna have to be that big. And then we can do something like this. We could even put, like, a little door right there. That way, you can easily travel in and out of there. And we will move the butchering table. We'll reinstall that over here. Good. We'll also reinstall the stool. Good. That'll keep them separate, and that'll stop a lot of the stuff from happening that we don't want to happen. And then on top of that, we're going to want to make some wooden flooring throughout this whole place for now. Because we want to make sure that everything... Well, actually, not, not this area. Just this area. Because if we want to make sure we have nice flooring in there for the like, all that stuff. And everything else seems to have pretty good flooring. What we could do is build some more of these rooms. But I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to let the wall get built first. Because people need to get that built. And let's take a look at our crops here. How are we doing on our crops? They're doing pretty well. Oh! All right, research is done. Okay, all right, sweet. Let's uh, take a gander here. So we got plate armor we could do. No, I don't really think that's a high priority at the moment. At the moment, I think machining is probably the high priority because then we can get gunsmithing and all that stuff. We should probably look into that. I just realized that we have like 814 wood. 814 wood. Like what? Why do we have so much wood? <laughs> well, actually, you know what? It makes sense why we have a lot of wood because we're going to do a lot of building with that. But, um, hang on, I'm gonna take a look at the priorities here. So, researching is number two for you. Oh, cooking is number one. Okay, that's good. So, Epic, you are the cooker and the researcher, okay? You're, you're doing very well. You're doing an absolutely fantastic job. But, we are in dire need of more food. Um, are you gonna come store this in there? Yeah, it looks like you're storing it in the, in the freezer. Yep. Okay, good. Alright, so that looks good to me. Are you, are, what is your temperature set at? Zero? Okay, so that's good. And you're putting all the food in there. Cool. So we have strawberries, potatoes growing, everything is seems to be going the correct direction. I'm going to quickly make another growing zone. Can I make this heel root? Would this work or is it going to get mad? Alright, we don't have the planter stuff for it yet. But we're going to leave it there just in case we ever do get that. Um, I'm also going to create another growing zone on top of that. And we're going to do some cotton plants because we're going to need to make some clothing as well. Because clothing is going to keep our people happy and safe and hopefully keep us alive during the winter. If it gets really cold, I don't know how cold it's going to get during the winter. Or if like a cold snap happens or something, then we have clothing that we can use. That'll be very nice. I like our little stockpile here. It's just a bunch of wood. <laughs> okay, so it says something about a meditation spot. Near the best focus object they can use. What does that even mean? I need to make a meditation spot. Okay, hang on one second. We're going to check this out. I don't know what this means. Meditation spot. Okay, designates a spot for meditation. They can meditate here to gain their stuff. If a focus object like a sculpture is nearby, they'll be able to focus on and boost their thing. However, different people use different objects to focus. All right. Uh, I can just put this anywhere? Uh, your wool is sticking in your room for now, okay? I don't know what else to do. We'll build something for that later. <laughs> I don't know if... I, I have no idea. He Apparently, I think he's meditating right now. Yeah, he's meditating right now. Okay, yeah. We'll just leave the the meditation spot here. We'll, we'll actually assign this to Sisu. That's your meditation spot. We should probably make a, like, a special room for that eventually. But at the moment, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, where's the flooring? Did that get canceled? I need you to build flooring right there. And right there. Please, thank you. Yeah. Also, I need to make sure that the job priority and stuff is all set up in this as well. Which it is! Alright, sweet. Okay, so the eclipse was ending. I didn't even know the eclipse started. <laughs> but alright, alright. So we did, we got that out of the way. But we do need to get some hunting set up here. So let's actually go and hunt some raccoons. And let's hunt maybe a few guinea pigs. And a few wild boar as well. They might get pissed off, but that, it's whatever. I don't really care. Uh, oh, and a few hares as well. Should we get some... No, we shouldn't tame anything. Nah, I'd be kind of dumb. You know, taming a mufalo might be worth it, but we don't actually have the skills for that at the moment. Oh my god, we got a transport pod crash. Comrade. Comrade, huh? Okay, alright. So he's got a prosthetic heart. 
Are you good at anything? Ooh, hold on. Okay, so you're not capable of caring, intellectual, or artistic. So that's like a lot of uh, stuff you're incapable of caring. So that's fantastic. But you are good at mining and you're good at doing melee and stuff like that. So I guess you might be worth it. You're also pretty good at social skills. You'd actually be the best person at social stuff in this colony. So with that in mind, we need to figure out a place to put this man. We could put him in here. I think that'll be fine. Uh, should we keep a prisoner in here? What do you, should he be a prisoner? What would... What would the downside be to taking him prisoner? Angers the faction. Or we can just rescue him. Would he join us is the question. Hmm. You know, okay. All right, all right, all right. You know what? You know what? I don't think I care that much that we anger a faction. I think what we're going to do is... We're going to capture this man. We're going to try to recruit him because I think... It would be much more in our benefit just to get as many people in our colony as possible right off the bat. Okay, so uh, they're now hostile towards us, which, you, you know, whatever. Okay, it doesn't bother me. But we do need to make sure that this man gets fixed up. Who's the best doctor we got in town right now? The best doctor's Epic. Epic, big man. You can't butcher stuff. I need you to tend to him. You're the doctor. Get the stuff. Make sure he doesn't die. I don't want him to die. What is What is he at right now? Nine hours? Okay, no, he'll be fine. We just got to fix him up. Okay, cool. Now, what's it going to take to recruit you? Recruitment chance, 90%. Isn't that good? That's good chance, right? Like, that's not bad. Right? <laughs> I think so. Whoa, what's going on in Cece's room? Did you see that? Did you guys see that? It was, like, all wavy and stuff like that. That was really weird. All right, Cece, dude. You're doing some really, really odd stuff in that room. Not going to lie. <laughs> I think I'm going to construct a few more places are actually just one more just like a little prisoner area probably like right here something like this we'll make it kind of bigger along these lines yeah but it'll be like kind of like one giant dorm area almost perhaps yeah something like this and then what we're gonna do we're gonna stick beds in here we'll do like something like this it could be it could be like a hospital okay for the most part like that could be the main point of it but we could also use it for prisoners in our case. And on top of that, we are going to actually install the... Would, it, would a single dresser work? Or would that not work? I don't even know. Okay, hang on. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, I think we're... You know, we'll do plant pots. Plant pots right there. That'll make them happy. Heck yeah. So we just got a message to send two colonists for 24 days. Which we don't actually possess the capabilities of surviving on just one colonist right now so i'm gonna have to dismiss this i'm sorry but um yeah that had to happen so wood we're gonna do wooden flooring in here as well okay so that should be fine just have like a little area for like a hospital or a prisoner area we're gonna build an actual dedicated prisoner zone area but right now we're just gonna go with that because we're starting out and we don't have all that much time and stuff we want to make sure we get this wall built as soon as possible which Actually, I think we should probably get that built, like this part right here. I need you to do that, bud. Please, thank you. Okay, so I also just realized that the temperature is extremely hot in some of these rooms. This one's cooler because it's connected to the cooler, which is good. But it is not good enough because we need to make sure that these people have some decent, well, some decent cooling and stuff like that going on. We're going to actually build a passive cooler... We could build that in here, and we can also build one in here as well. Do you guys need one in there, in your little rooms? It looks like you guys need one in your rooms, but there's no real way of... Actually, we could build like a little ventilation system. That's not a bad idea. Hold on, hold on. That sounds kind of like a fun little thing to do. Hold on, we're going to do this. Okay, so we need to have like a little open area. Perfect, and then we could have the cooler right there. That can run through the rooms and then we'll build vents. Where's the vents? Where are the vents? Ah, yes, vents. Okay. Build that here and there. Okay, good. I think that'll that'll work just fine. And then we can build the cooler right there. Heck yeah! Okay. That's the first time I built the ventilation system. I've heard of people building those, but we're gonna see if that works or if it's even worth it. I don't know yet. Um, we're gonna run a power cable. All the way through there as well, just in case. 
And that should be good, right? We might have to build another wind turbine or like a some, some sort of thing, but I don't know yet. But I think we're good. Oh God, people are getting upset because of heat stroke right now. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I just noticed that the temperature was through the roof. <laughs> okay, you guys gotta calm down. You guys will be fine. Okay, the, all right, Epic has food poisoning. That's probably why he's having his mental breakdown. But Mayo is building the cooler. You botched the cooler, Mayo. Come on, man. Mayo apparently has a chemical starvation for drugs. That's fantastic. Um, what we could do, actually, is start perhaps growing some... What is it called? What's it called? I forget I forget the name of it. Uh, smoke leaf. We can start growing some smoke leaf. I mean, I don't really see the problem with having some weed in the colony, you know, keep people happy. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead quickly and schedule some mining of some of the steel out here. Just a little bit of it, not too much. Just to have some steel lying around. Because I'm starting to notice that we're running a little low on steel. And people are running all over the place trying to find it. And it's just taking up time when we could really just mine it out here. And we could even create like a little steel stockpile. I don't know. Just someplace. And is our consumption of the battery and stuff like that. Is that all fine? We're not running out of stuff too quickly, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 And maintaining this temperature is not very expensive at all to do. Which is good. Disu, you are building that last vent, which is very, very nice. Now we have heat-regulated rooms, it looks like. I'm thinking. Kind of looks like that. <laughs> I can't tell. Sisu, why are you going to have a mental breakdown? What's going on? Okay, well, yeah, without a table, that's your own fault. That's not my fault. I don't know why you did. You didn't have to. Oh, it's probably because I had the uh, place turned into a thing. Yeah, okay, no, that, that, that definitely caused it. Never mind, it was definitely my fault. For that, I am sorry. Um, you can't do cleaning. Mayo, how about you? You're attempting to recruit him. See how that goes. All right. Yeah, it didn't go very well. I kind of could have guessed that, but I need you to clean this up. Clean up this room, please. Plus, thank you. It looks much better now. Now everyone should have the uh, impressive dining room. Yep, there's the buff. Okay. Sisu, I know you're sick, big man, but you need to get that vent built. Thank you. All right. Now we're fine. <laughs> Sisu, please don't have a mental breakdown. It's not looking too hot for you right now. You gotta eat. Oh, God. Sisu, eat your food. Come on. You can do this. Just... Oh, boy. All right. He's happy in there, okay? He's not... He's not terribly unhappy. So, that's a good thing. All right. So, Comrade is up and moving. Uh, how close are you to be getting recruited? Recruitment chance is going down. Why? Why is it going down? I'm confused. You just not like where you're staying? <laughs> I don't... Yeah, probably. Yeah, it definitely looks like that. An awful barrack. Really? Really, dude? We're gonna go there? <laughs> okay, here. How about this? How about this? We'll build a passive cooler in here to try and keep you warm. Or warm. Cool. Yeah, cool. We gotta make sure you're cool. <laughs> These two, you really have to stop meditating so much, though. Like, seriously, you're just wasting your time. Like, I know you want to see what you're capable of doing, but, like, we have more important stuff at hand, and you're just ignoring that. Anyway, I think we're going to leave the episode here. hope you guys enjoyed. We did a few things this episode. We moved the uh, butchering table over here. We captured a prisoner, and we built, like, a little prison barracks or, like, a hospital kind of a dealio. It's kind of shitty right now, as you can see, but we'll, we'll work on it. And then we also have, like, a nice little vent area to try and keep our barracks, or our barracks, our rooms nice and cool. And then on top of that, all we also have our outer wall or like our inner wall finished. We don't have the outer wall yet. We're still working on the main part of the kill box and stuff. But we have like a little bit of a defense here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe to see more. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.